Guardians yes, I'm done gallivanting. Yes. Now uh, you you checked out Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Uh, I did. Yes. Worth... I got to see this a couple weeks ago um, uh-huh. on the Disney lot. Um, which means I have to say that it was good, right? Because yeah. that's their, my parent company. No, but I mean, it, it, it's fantastic. They, they, again, another Marvel home run. They know what they're doing. Um, they brought the humor back again. Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, um, uh, Dave Bautista is really, really good again as, uh, as Drax, this, you know, blue kind of destroyer guy. Um, and you have Baby Groot, uh, which is just like one of the cutest characters that's ever going to be on screen, at least in the whole year. Um, and I don't know what they're putting in the water over at Marvel, but the colors in this thing, man, are trippy and fantastic. Um, and you have Kurt Russell this time around, who, you, you know, you can't argue with Kurt Russell. Um, so it's going to do big business. Tracking has it at $150 million or more. When we get that high, uh, it's always notoriously unreliable. So we're looking at a spread of $130 million to $170 million. Uh, Beauty and the Beast is the biggest opening of the year so far at 172 million. I don't think it's going to quite get there, but it's possible. <laughs> uh, Gardens of the Galaxy Volume Two. If I haven't seen the first one, will I get lost for the second one? Uh, a little bit. Um, you won't know the relationships between the characters and why they're doing what they're doing, and um, you'll miss a lot of the jokes for sure. Right. Um, but I mean, you could pick it up and go in there. I went in there not remember. The last one was three years ago. I'm horrible at retaining plot lines uh, for things. Um, so, um, you know, I didn't really, I didn't read up on anything before I went in. So if you, you know, mm-hmm. don't quite remember what happened in the last one, you'll be okay. But if you didn't see the first one, you know, I'd, I'd say see the first one. All right, there you go. Uh, while we have you, uh, did I hear YouTube is having some, some specials with some comedians? They are. They're adding some really big names to their lineup of trying to compete with uh, Netflix and HBO and Hulu and Amazon. So a couple months ago, they announced their live service where they're, you know, taking on the cable company and giving you for, I think, 40 bucks a month, a bunch of cable channels uh, so to help you cut the cord. Now they're adding original, more original programming. They have original programming, but with big names. Ellen DeGeneres is going to do a twice-weekly show, which is a kind of behind-the-scenes of her show. Kevin Hart is going to do a show called What the Fit, um, in which he and celebrity friends undertake different grueling and sometimes ridiculous workout routines because, you know, he's really buff and really into working out. Um, Katy Perry is going to do an online listening session for her new album. Um, I'm going to kind of take you a little behind the scenes of that. Demi Lovato is going to do that as well. Uh, So they're adding a lot of big names, really trying to beef this up to try to get the eyeballs over there. Uh, You know, with Hulu announcing their streaming service, YouTube, their their streaming service, I mean, these these cable companies got to be on the run. They, they are. Um, the strange thing to me, though, is you have YouTube. Hulu just announced theirs. They're both at about 40 bucks a month. Um, I'm a cord cutter and have been for over a year now. Sling TV is my favorite one in terms of price. It's 20 bucks a month, and you get all the channels that you want. So in order to really compete, Sling's been around for a while. So at 40 bucks a month, they're going to have to bring their, their services down, the prices down. And Hulu doesn't even have... Uh, a lot of the channels that uh, YouTube or Sling has. Hmm. So uh, there's still a lot of work left to do in in this space, at least to get it cheaper than your cable bill, because if you're going to do this, 40 bucks a month, then plus Netflix, then plus HBO, if you want that stuff, right. you're still getting up there in price. Uh, you have, uh, you said you have Sling Box, right? So Sling from... from it's, d- yeah, it's Sling. It's different than the Sling Box. Sling is a TV service where you get the cable channels um, on an app or on your streaming. Do you I have get, a Roku TV. Do you get local channels, the ABC, NBC, CBS? You do, actually. Um, on the Sling right now, and I think it varies from market to market, and with the YouTube or with the Hulu thing that was just announced, they're 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 doing a beta. So in in certain markets you get local channels, not in every market. On on Sling right now you get I think Fox and NBC here, but that's it. Um, so I I have an antenna. I have an antenna on the roof, <laughs> and that's how I'm getting my local channels. Uh, I mean, and it, and it works great. And the picture is actually a little bit better than it is on cable. So you know, I love it. Yeah. Uh, all right, Jason Nathanson, uh, filling us in on Gardens of the Galaxy two and his uh, Sling TV. That's right. Jason, have a good week. Thanks for checking in. Take care. Bye guys. Eight twenty five. Big five fifty.